Hey everyone, today we are talking about percent yield. Percent yield is basically just a way of calculating how close to the theoretical best are you doing in a particular chemical reaction, okay? So basically the idea is whenever we perform a chemical reaction, we're almost never getting everything that we should get out of it. Sometimes it's actually considerably less. And so percent yield is a calculation of how well did we do in the reaction? How efficient is it? So this requires two main uh, pieces of information. We need what's called the actual yield. Okay. This is how much do we get experimentally? Okay. So um, if you did a reaction and you got 20 grams of product, that 20 grams is your actual yield. The actual yield is determined in real life experimentally. Okay. The other is the theoretical yield. The theoretical yield is calculated using math and it's determined by how much reactant you have. If you have a certain amount of reactant, you can figure out I should end up with this much product and that like expected amount of product that is your theoretical yield. So the calculation for percent yield is relatively simple. Percent yield is the actual yield divided by the theoretical yield times 100. Okay. So let's look at an example of this. So it says a chemist burns aluminum in excess air to produce aluminum oxide. Al2O3. They produce 260 grams of solid aluminum oxide. If the chemist expected to produce 315 grams of product, what is the percent yield? So this is actually a very straightforward calculation. We just have to identify what is our theoretical and what is our actual yield. So it says they produce 260 grams of solid aluminum oxide. So because it's saying that they actually made 260 grams, this number right here is our actual yield, AY for actual yield. And then it says in the second sentence, or the third sentence, should I say, if the chemist expected to produce 315 grams. So what that's saying is they expected to produce 315 grams based on what they started with. So this is our theoretical yield. So we just have to plug it into our equation. So percent yield is equal to our actual yield divided by our theoretical yield times 100. So if we plug the numbers in, that's 260 grams of Al2O3 divided by 315 grams Al2O3. Now when you're calculating this, it's, it, it's very important that these are in the same unit because if you have the same unit on top and bottom, you can cancel these out, okay? And then times 100. So, if we plug this into a calculator, let me just pull one up real quick. Do, 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 do. It'll be 260 divided by 315 times 100. Our percent yield is 82.54%. Okay, and for strictly percent yield, it really is just that simple. However, we can actually get questions that are, you know, a bit longer than this. So let's look at another one. Okay. So in this question, it says, 15 grams of sodium and 18 grams of chlorine were reacted together according to the reaction below. 20.1 grams of sodium chloride were formed. What is the percent yield? 
So I have two different amounts of reactants here. Okay. Now I need to figure out what is my theoretical yield, but I don't really have an efficient way of doing that unless I first figure out what is my limiting reagent. So I'm going to have to figure out what my limiting reagent is. But I also have another piece of information too. It says 20.1 grams of sodium chloride were formed. So I know 20.1 right here, that is my actual yield. So it's pretty straightforward. I have to figure out which one of these two is limiting. And then once I do that, I can figure out how many grams is that going to make, and that will be my theoretical yield. So let's dive in. 15 grams of sodium. Okay. I'm going to convert this into moles of sodium. So one mole of sodium is going to be equal to 22.99 grams of sodium. That's just from the periodic table. Cancel those out. And then from my equation, I need the mole ratio to switch this into moles of sodium chloride. So two moles sodium chloride will be formed from two moles sodium. Cancel those units. Two over two, that's just one over one. So if I plug this into my calculator, 15 divided by 22.99, that equals 0 0.65 moles sodium chloride. Okay, now let's look at the other one. 18 grams of Cl2. One mole of Cl2 is going to be 70.9 zero grams Cl2. Two moles sodium chloride will be made from one mole Cl2. Okay. Plug this into my calculator. Six divided by seventy point nine. I got zero point five one moles sodium chloride. So from this, looking at the moles, I can identify that chlorine is limiting, sodium is excess. So I need to take this fifty one mole or 0 0.51 moles of sodium chloride and I need to convert it into grams of sodium chloride. So one mole sodium chloride is going to be equal to 58.44 grams sodium chloride. Cancel my units. And what I got is 29.67 grams sodium chloride. Now this number is my theoretical yield. So now I just need to plug these two numbers into my equation that I showed you before. Actual yield, 20.1 grams sodium chloride. That's from my equation, or from my problem I mean. Theoretical yield, 29.67 grams sodium chloride times 100. If I plug that in, 20.1 divided by 29.67, I got 67.75%.